Good morning, how are you doing? Uh, coming to you from the unfinished basement this morning. Uh, just doing some work upstairs in the office where I usually shoot these videos. Apologies, uh, hopefully this all works out and you get through this okay. Uh, so just gonna jump right in and uh, get into my November Microstock earnings. Uh, it was a decent month, um, not as good as last, but still pretty good, so stick around right till the end. Okay, let's just jump right into it. Uh, Archangel, my book cover site, uh, haven't really been uploading there and haven't been making any sales there, so didn't earn anything with Archangel in November. Black Box is the next site I'm going to talk about, and just so you know, I, I am going in um, from from lowest to best in this review. So uh, looking at my sites now that I've earned nothing on, and Black, Black Box Global, I have 194 submitted assets, didn't earn anything there. Um, never have so um, it is what it is big stock um, I had four dollars and five cents were the earnings okay and the next site that I'm going to talk about is one that I usually do pretty well with so uh, surprising that it's so low this month but um, that's <laughs> that's how stock goes it's pawn five actually so on pawn five I have eight thousand eight hundred and thirty three images and I have two thousand 355 videos now so uh, portfolio is growing but had a bad month I actually only had one image sale that earned me four dollars and 25 cents and it's this image right here and just so you know just about that royalty amount I went through and I because the sales were so low on images I went through and I changed from the default of $5 to $10 for all images that I sell just because the rare occasion one sells it gives you a little bit extra kind of tops up those video sales so which I had none of in November but uh, that's my month 425 on Pond 5. Next site is 123RF I have 5,304 images there I don't upload anything to our 123RF anymore uh, just the value is not there for me. I did have earnings of $7.92 in the month of November, however. So let's go to Wirestock. Um, after having had a great month at Wirestock, sort of back down to reality, I uh, have 600 images there, 8 videos, and I don't subscribe, so I don't upload there anymore. Over the month of November, I did have 31 image sales and that earned me $10.77. So $10 isn't a bad month. At that rate, it does take a little while to pay out, but uh, hopefully hopefully um, things keep happening there. The next site that I'm gonna talk about is Deposit Photos. I have 13,024 images there. No video. Well, I uploaded a little bit of uh, drone footage uh, recently, but it hasn't been on sale for very long, so um, see if anything sells there but mostly I'm talking about an image portfolio I uh, had only 56 sales and that earned me only $13.90 so that's a really low um, that's a really low dollar amount for me on deposit I usually get up above 20 close in the 20 range sometimes 30 um, so just not a great month for me there okay now um, if you've been paying attention, the, you've no may have noticed that I didn't mention photo for me yet. Uh, that's my photo on demand site. That's because I had a sale, so it jumped up to um, to uh, a higher spot on the usual rankings. I sold one image, and it earned me 17 pounds. I didn't translate that that into U.S. dollars for this video, so let's say 20 20 U.S. dollars ish. And it was this photograph of Three Sisters Mountain in, in Canmore, just outside Canmore along Policeman's Creek. It's a beautiful spot, super popular with photographers. Typically on some of these sites like Fine Art America and um, Photo For Me as well, you'll see that if you're going to get sales uh, because you're a smaller user, Typically, you'd get those around uh, Christmas time, sort of the pre-Christmas gift buying season. That's when you're most likely to get a sale. So if you are thinking about print on demand, like Fine Art America, 
or photo for me and you're not a contributor there or at one of those sites aim to get your portfolio up sort of September October so that your stuff is available for Christmas all right uh, nice to earn something there so let's move on to dreams time I have 14,048 images in my portfolio I have 546 videos I had 55 sales in November that earned me $27.50 and my RPD was 50 cents per image I had a number of two dollar sales um, that was a maximum value per sale that I had and one of them was this photograph of the Peace Bridge uh, designed by Calatrava here in Calgary along the Bow River okay so let's jump to my next best performing site and that was Motion Array I have 713 assets mixed at roughly half an hour between video and photos in November I had 212 total downloads and that earned me $33 so uh, each month I basically basically gone up a little bit um, for a small portfolio it's actually performs pretty well and um, word of mouth I guess or people that have commented in my videos have sort of suggested they equally have success um, sort of outsized based on the portfolio as compared to some of the other sites so uh, keep motion array in mind if uh, vi especially a video is your thing and you get some good diverse assets all right so yeah that was $33 all right uh, let's go to Alamy my portfolio at Alamy is 13,460 images I had six total sales the gross on that uh, six sales was $189.51 and my net was $82.21 which is 40% of that the best sale I had was of this Disney photo Alamy is one of the only sites I think Dreamstime does too but uh, very few sites allow you to upload Disney stuff even as editorial I always kind of wonder whether I should even be selling Disney stuff given the reluctance of the sites to accept Disney uh, and given the kind of company Disney is it's kind of like one of those companies where you're like well maybe they would go after someone that's totally irrelevant it's hard to say I don't know I'd be curious to know if you have any thoughts on on uploading stuff that's probably marginal or close to being problematic uh, from a sort of a, a rights owner's perspective uh, even as editorial so anyway that was my month at Alamy all in all pretty pretty decent next site that I'm going to talk about is iStock uh, this is my October report uh, going back a month I have 9,011 images on my iStock port I have 522 videos now I had 172 sales that earned me $103.67 so again another good month at iStock anytime I'm over a hundred I, I treat that as a as a good month the RPD there was 60 cents per uh, asset sold and that includes a video I did have uh, 14 videos sell and that earned me ten dollars and sixty six cents so uh, the RPD on those videos was less than a dollar so a really low value month as far as video sales go quite frankly many of those were all very very low <laughs> amounts so I, had, I think I had one that was three or four dollars and then the other 13 stuck in, stuck in under that 16 or sorry six dollars so uh, I stock is really hit and miss with uh, video royalties they can be really really low and um, I'm not quite sure why you get some good sales and then a lot of really bad ones but uh, typically that's how it goes the best earning asset for the month was this photograph that I took in Waikiki on Kalakaua Avenue of a surfer you know, walking past one of the Waikiki tour buses all right uh, next we are on Shutterstock uh, my port size with Shutterstock is 13,461 images I have 1,275 videos there I had 343 total sales value at $289.67 to me 
340 were image sales, three were video sales. My images earned $196.19. And my videos, those three video sales earned $93.48. So I had a $31.16 royalty per download for the videos, which is really, really good. Um, like the other sites, Shutterstock's all over the map when it comes to video royalties. So I uh, was happy to get in that 30 range per video uh, for those three sales because 93 bucks is is pretty good for videos uh so that's that's that was great uh, the best video sale was this drone shot looking down on um, residential homes in here in calgary during winter uh, this is what it's like for us for most of the year uh well not most of the year for a few months anyway um, but that earned 35 dollars and 80 cents the best image sale was this photograph that I've shown a lot of times, one of my best all-time uh, Skyline sales. Uh, this one, it earned $15.75. And then, then this shot of surfboards uh, was close behind it, $15.40. And this was kind of an abstract, uh, trying to look for a background style uh, travel image. So when you're traveling, it's not always about the big grand travel location or landscape or whatever. Sometimes if you look for detail or abstracts, uh, those also work on a travel concept basis. And so, yeah, it was nice to get a sale of uh, over 15 for that one. Last but not least is Adobe stock. I have uh, 13,211 assets in my portfolio and 628 are videos. My total sales in November were 833, and the total earnings for those sales was $655.95. So another good month for me. 829 of those assets sold were images, including illustrations, and um, four of the assets sold were videos, and uh, the videos earned $29.40 while the images earned $625.55. AI generated content that sold uh, 477 images overall. I did find that compared to previous months, a lot of the AI generated content sold for less per image. I didn't do a calculation on the royalties per download. Uh, sort of a comparison between illustrations or like AI illustrations versus photographs, but I felt I had a lot of 36 cent, 44 cent, a lot of 66 cents, a, a lot of just lower royalty sales on the AI side. Whereas in the past, I felt like I was uh, up closer in the same range as photos. So sort of, you know, 90 cent range. So that's something to watch for me. The best-selling image, uh, surfboards on Waikiki Beach. Waikiki theme this, this month, I guess. And it earned me $24.21. That was an image. And the best-selling video was uh, this shot of uh, just this uh, iPhone pan of cruise ships moored in the harbor at Juneau, Alaska. And that earned me... $12.50, so uh, not bad. So that's the sort of the look at Adobe for the month of November. So my total sales for the month were, or the total value of my royalties received for the month was $1,254.34. So $1,200, that's uh, less than the month before, but still above 1,000 and I think in the past, I had saw 600 as my goal. Uh, that's been revised to 1,000. So I'm hoping to be in the 1,000 range every month going in, except for maybe December or some of the slow months in the summer, which is great for me. Um, super happy with the month. Hopefully this was helpful, and uh, hopefully some of the images that I showed you maybe can help you with your photography or some of my earnings uh, help motivate you to keep going uploading and trying to make a little bit of extra scratch off microstock photography. Anyway, hope this 
was helpful and we will see you uh as far as stock goes in the new year have a great holiday season see you next year